Hey, y'all. Coming to you from the International Headquarters of Scotty DTV. But I was at the National Corvette Museum in Bowling Green, Kentucky. And, uh, man, if you've never been, make sure that you put it on your list of things you want to do because it's a very cool place. Even if you're not that crazy about Corvettes, it's still a cool place to go see automotive history. And uh, they had the Ed Big Daddy Roth display over there. And I did an overview video of the whole display. But I wanted to come back and take a closer look at some of the cars of his that they had there. And today I got Mysterion. So let me get the camera turned around. We'll take a closer look at it. To be clear, this is not the original Mysterion Ed Roth Big Daddy built back in the 60s. This is a recreation. The original car was traded for a guy owned Orbitron and a Beatnik Bandit. And when this one got finished doing what it does, he traded those two cars for this car. At some point, Ed wanted this car back because he wanted the axles out of the car because that's how they did it back in the day. They built these cars to make models and paint t-shirts off of. Once they had run their course and promoted all they were going to do, then they tore them apart and used those parts on the next car. They didn't have the budgets that we have today. I love that Cyclops eye though. And the car wasn't, none of the cars, you know, not a lot of the cars weren't built to, to actual function. They were just strictly show cars. I mean, this one, the chassis was, uh, you know, it wasn't strong enough to hold one of those 390 Fords, let alone two. Now, it has been. You can drive, you can actually open that roof and slide down in that seat and drive this one. The, the recreation that Dave did, he started early in the 2000s. He fixed all the engineering errors that they had. And there's hydraulics that lift that roof. And uh, yeah, so this one is actually functioning except for even with this one, only one of those engines actually performs. The other one is a, uh, was a ghost or a dummy motor that a belt runs to make it look like they're both operating, but there's only actually one of those driving the car. The paint is gold morango over white pearl. I think it's a very cool yellow. And there's the front end set up that got the original car cut apart. But yeah, now this was all about money. Ed was an artist and cars were his canvas and t-shirts and models were his paychecks. And he kept all that in perspective. So there was no, I don't think there was any kind of love for these things. Once he built them and came up with a crazy idea and set it, and probably ran it at a show for a year or so, made a model, sold several t-shirts. He was done with it, cut it up. But it's cool to see that somebody put one back together because you know this is where a lot of this stuff started fiberglass bodies and crazy creations although I'm glad that we've evolved to the point where you can run drive and run these ones now where there's not show cars so there you go from the National Corvette Museum in Bowling Green Kentucky Ed Big Daddy Ross Mysterion hope you all enjoyed it see ya Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.